guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be filming another pregnancy update video. This is going to be for week 33. So I've got kind of a shorter one here for you today. I have a couple of items to haul. I also have my very first Honest Company diaper shipment that I got in the mail that I'm going to just throw in here. So let's go ahead and get into the actual update. So baby is as long as she is going to get. She is not going to be putting on any more length during this pregnancy. From here on out, she is just going to be building up weight and fat on her tiny little body so that is good also she is about four and a half pounds now she still feels like she is breech if I put my hand on the top of my belly I can feel like a hard roundish spot which I'm assuming is probably her head we do have a doctor's appointment at 34 weeks where we are going to go in and they're gonna feel around and see what's going on so um, I will keep you updated on that next week for cravings this week I still have been really really craving sweets and chocolate for Christmas I got some of those Lindor dark chocolate truffles and I have been craving those so 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 bad um, so I might be sending my husband to the store to go pick up another bag of those here sometime soon because I've been really really wanting more of those symptoms my nausea has returned with a vengeance um, I've been pretty much every single time I eat I've been getting really nauseous especially around dinner time the end of the day has been really rough also, my rib pain has come back really bad. I've been taking, again, like two or three baths a day sometimes because the rib pain is so intense that I have to lay down in the tub and it's been, it's been rough. Um, so that's back, that's happening again, unfortunately, but at least getting in the tub actually helps. <laughs> so I haven't had to take too many midnight, late night baths this past week that's good but I've been taking a lot of them so um also I got the cold or the flu or the something this week my husband has been so sick all week he ended up calling out of work a couple days this week and I haven't been quite that bad I haven't needed to call out or anything but I've been really sick <laughs> I started getting a cough pretty badly um and I've been sucking on cough drops and stuff I'm feel like I'm finally on the mend now. I've been getting a lot of rest and drinking a lot of water, which has helped a lot, but the weak immune system when you're pregnant, I'm telling you, I feel like every third or fourth pregnancy update video, I've been talking about how I'm sick again, but uh, yeah. So definitely make sure if you're pregnant that you are upping on your vitamin C so that you don't get sick because, especially during flu season, it's been really bad. So I've been having a ton of contractions. I've been having Braxton Hicks contractions like crazy, um, probably one or two every hour or so on average, I would say. I know you don't really need to go to the hospital or talk to your doctor or anything until they're about 10 minutes apart, so I'm definitely not quite there yet, but I've definitely been getting a couple every hour for sure, and they are pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> not painful, but definitely uncomfortable, especially if I'm at the store and trying to walk around. It is horrible. I have to stop in an aisle and wait until the contraction is done before I can walk around more because it's just very, very tight and painful. So that has not been fun. But that is pretty much it for this week. Like I said, short and sweet and simple. I think these weekly pregnancy updates are going to be very, very short from here on out. So that is why I'm including some of the things that I purchased throughout the week at the end of the video, just to kind of give you guys a little bit more for the week. So I've got a couple of items from Target here to show you. The first thing is this little duck from the brand Munchkin and this rubber ducky has a little indicator on the bottom that tells you when the water is too hot and I thought this would be kind of nice especially as a first-time parent I'm not so much worried about myself because I have younger siblings but my husband I think he would just feel a little bit more comfortable if he had like a for sure indicator instead of trying to just kind of trust his gut on that so I got this it was only a couple of bucks from Target and it's really cute too so it's multifunctional 
And then this is something that I have gone so back and forth on whether or not I wanted to buy one of these. My husband has been really back and forth on whether he wanted to let me get one of these because it's totally not necessary and it's kind of one of those overpriced baby items that you really don't need at all. But I I finally decided that I wanted one. It is a wubbanub. If you don't know, these are the Soothe pacifiers, which are the ones that they use in the hospital, and it is just attached to a stuffed animal, which makes it weighted so that if it falls out of their mouth, it stays right there on their chest. There's also some kind of something behind the pacifier being weighted that the baby likes it more, it's more comforting, whatever. I mostly just think that it's really, really super cute, <laughs> and I went back and forth on which one I wanted to get and I finally decided that I wanted the giraffe so yes I did pay $14 for a pacifier I know I hate myself too but it's really cute and I'm really excited especially for when she is a little teeny tiny newborn I'm going to pop this into her hospital bag so that I can give it to her while we're in the hospital and I hope that she likes it because this crap is expensive, so I am planning on doing a video once she's been here for a few months of like baby items that we used and baby items that we didn't use and all that kind of stuff. Sort of like a baby products I regret buying kind of a video because I love watching those. Those are some of my favorite baby videos to watch here on YouTube, so I will be doing one of those and I hope three, four, five months from now, this is not something that I am holding up and saying this is the dumbest thing I ever bought. <laughs> I really hope she likes this and I really hope that uh, my husband is wrong because he told me that it's dumb and we don't need it, but I talked him into it. I got a super killer good deal on diapers this week and I just really wanted to brag about it. Had like a like a mom brag moment because I was really proud of myself. I'm not like a couponer or like a sale shopper or anything like that. In the Target Baby Registry welcome bag that they give you, you get a coupon for $25 off of a $50 purchase of the Honest Company and I was planning on using that to get diapers because their boxes of diapers are $25 a piece. So I was planning on just getting two of the $25 boxes of diapers and so it would be like buy one get one free essentially. My personal Target has such a small selection of Honest Company diapers. I pretty much couldn't get any girl print diapers until size 2, which is fine, but um, I really wanted to get some newborn and some size 1, which is why I went ahead and ordered the Honest Company diaper bundle, is because I really wanted to try the newborn and the size 1, and my Target doesn't have any girl size 1 diapers. And I know that that's not something that everyone cares about, but I care about that. I don't want to put my girl in train diapers. I just don't. I just don't. If that's your thing, that's fine, but that's not my thing. So this week Target was doing a deal where if you buy any two boxes of Honest Company diapers, you get a $10 gift card. And I also had the coupon from the baby registry. So I was like, okay, two boxes of diapers will get me the $50 so that I can get the $25 coupon off. So that's going to bring it down to $25. But because I'm getting two of them, I'm going to get a $10 gift card. So that's going to bring it down to $15. So after tax, I ended up paying $18 for two boxes of Honest Company diapers. Two boxes of the $25.99 I got for 18 bucks. So let me show you. So like I said, my Target had a split pack of the feathers and the bunnies in size two. I actually had to go back to Target and make a second trip because they only had one of these when I went on Thursday and I needed to get two to get the deal. So we went in Friday morning right after they had gotten their truck, but they still only had one out on the shelf. So I asked them very nicely and they hunted the back room for me. It took like 10 minutes, I felt so bad, but they found another box of these. So I got two of the exact same. So she's going to be wearing the bunnies and the feathers for quite a while, but that's okay. So these are actually the only size two diapers that we have. We got a bunch of newborn and size one and baby wipes 
for my baby shower, but we did not get any size two diapers. So I'm glad that we are starting a stock on that. So I'm going to show you the Honest Company subscription that we got and I also got a really good deal on that as well. They emailed me a coupon for $20 off of your first month's bundle. So I ended up getting my bundle of diapers and wipes for 60 bucks instead of 80 bucks, which is awesome. I thought it would be a little bit easier to go ahead and just bring you guys over here to show you everything that's in here because this box is super heavy and I am pregnant so I probably shouldn't be lifting things around so let me go ahead and just show you what this came in. Obviously this was a little bit nicer packaged when I opened it. Everything has just kind of been thrown back in here and I've also already torn into the diapers because they're super cute and I couldn't resist. So um, let me pull all this out. I got three sized one diapers and three of the newborn size diapers. I decided to do half and half instead of doing all newborn or all size one because I don't know how big she's going to be obviously so if we're getting low on newborns I'll order another bundle of those but I also decided to just get the same exact prints so I will show you the newborn ones just know that the size one are the same so I got the teal tribal ones and here's what these ones look like I think these ones are a little bit more gender neutral because they definitely could go on a boy since they're blue, but they are still kind of cutesy for a girl. I got a pack of the painted feathers, and here is what these ones look like. These are very bright and colorful. I really do like these a lot. And then I got a pack of the rose blossom, and here is what those look like. And of course we have the exact same three prints in size one. And every bundle comes with four packages of the Honest Wipes. So here's what those look like. They're just wipes. We have a ton of wipes. So I probably won't be busting into those anytime soon. But we will be using the newborn size diapers very soon in the future here. So I'm planning on doing a review video of the Honest Company diapers once I try them on the actual baby. So stay tuned for that. That is it for this pregnancy update, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I have an entire playlist of these that I will go ahead and link up in a card as well as listing them down below. I also have unboxing videos of the Honest Company Try It Kit. So I have the toiletry one and the diaper one, and I will go ahead and link those down below as well if you're interested in seeing what you get for the little free trial that they do. But otherwise, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can see all of the future pregnancy update videos and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!